me out to shout so you can hear me on this video. But um, I am down on 395 here in Washington, D.C. Uh, in a tunnel, obviously. Uh, this coming off New York Avenue. I, I got out of jail a week ago today after doing 52 days for sending emails to D.C. government that weren't very nice. I'm starting to check on... Uh, well, wait, let me go back a minute and say that those emails weren't very nice, but neither were they threatening. Uh, so, I mean, I, I had a few curse words. Uh, some sentences were in all caps and had multiple exclamation points. And uh, I made some unattractive points in my messages. Uh, emails and text, by the way, not just emails. But anyway, uh, so I'm out here checking on the homeless that I haven't seen in a while. There used to be a tent city in this area right here. I don't know how they slept, but I see that it's been fenced off. Uh, and it's basically in an out of the way area where they wouldn't be bothering anybody. But nonetheless, uh, I just find it interesting that the city has put as much effort as they have into blocking off this area. And now I am about to walk out toward New York Avenue again, so you can see exactly where I'm at. Uh, so here are some of the surroundings. Uh, here's a flattened out tent. Uh, so evidently this person had to come out from under the bridge because of the fence being there. So, and there's, oh, there's a tent up here. Let me see if it's showing well on my screen. Uh, sometimes, it doesn't show well when I'm recording, but when I play the video, it actually shows a lot better. So, anyway, um, I came to check on some friends and I don't see anybody. Uh, there's that building there. Um, and I'm actually walking north right now. Come back and turn around and show you the bridge again. Uh, and that that is that bridge is K Street, by the way. And if I were to go down any further, then I, I would have been under the new platform that was just built over a section of 395. And they're putting five buildings on top of that platform uh, right across the road from the CCNV shelter on the other side of E Street. Um, but I just thought I'd do a, a quick display of uh, how much effort Mayor Muriel Bowser is putting into shutting down tent cities, even the ones that are out of the way and you don't want people to have to live in tents but when when they feel like it's their best option you know then there are questions as to whether or not they should be allowed to live in those tents and there are questions as to how much responsibility the government has to offer them some better options and just because government says that they offer better options doesn't mean that they do because people have their, their, their special needs and their preferences and what have you. Uh, they, they have reasons to believe that an option is not a good one even if the city officials say that, that it is. Uh, and just think about how you got people coming from Honduras up through other parts of uh, Central and South America, through Mexico, and they get to the border 
with the U.S. and they, and they have to prove that they had credible fear, uh, a reason that they really had to run. And now you have women who were who have been repeatedly raped and beaten, uh, as and oftentimes part of gang violence because gang violence is so rampant in certain parts of South and Central America, but they get turned away because they don't have credible fear. Well, so now we have homeless people who have their reasons for not accepting certain living arrangements that the city offers. And they're being told that they're wrong and that their opinions aren't valid and that they have to accept what's given to them. And I'm even reminded of an older woman who I, I don't know if she's still living. I knew she was living at the age of 93 in 2013. Uh, I'm not sure if she's still living though. Some people do make 100 or so. But she uh, became homeless through a very unfair process, a condo conversion. Uh, her monthly payments were more than tripled from seven fifty a month to twenty four hundred a month, and that's how she became homeless at the age of of, of eighty seven in two thousand seven. Uh, but but anyway. Just because the officials say this person has other options doesn't mean that those options are suitable for that individual. But I just want to point out how Mayor Muriel Bowser, who, who is up for re-election, is putting so much effort into shutting down tent cities that she's even shutting down the ones that are well out of the way. And, and that location is relatively safe. I, I was able to safely walk there and back without any, any issues. And, and I, I'm not saying that it's the most attractive or best place to be, but don't take away what people have until you really do have something better for them. Uh, all right, I'm out.